All right, we've got our 1971 BMW 2002 right here. And today we're going to be completely wiring the car and we're gonna show you guys what we do when we wire a car. Now, all of the tricks and tips we share today do not just apply to BMWs, it applies to all cars because electricity is an international language. So I know wiring can get kind of overwhelming, but if you just stick to the basics of it, um, you can get it done really quite quickly, really quite easily. Let's jump right into it. So the harness is all sorted out now. We've got it all taped together into just little legs for whatever the purpose of those wires is. So some of the labels here, cooling fans, wiper switch, headlight switch, hazards, gauge cluster, steering column. So that when we throw the fuse block into the car, we know just this leg goes there, this leg goes there, and then it's just all about doing just the final connections to whatever it is, if it's a switch or on the radio. Um, so it makes it just a lot easier on the brain. You're not scrambling through all the wires trying to figure out where they go once it's in the car. Um, this took us about an hour and a half to sort this all out, but really if this whole process takes you five hours, if it takes you ten hours, it doesn't matter. Um, go through the wiring diagram for your car, figure out where the wires need to go, and spend as much time as you can on this process because you need to get a really good understanding of it on the floor before you even bother throwing it into the car. It's going to save you um, a massive headache later down the road. So now that we have it all laid out into its different legs, we can go into mounting the fuse block into the car and then running these different legs to wherever they need to go. And maybe just before we do that, we're gonna throw a little bit of loom on just so um, we don't have to do it once we mount the fuse block in the car. Let's go do What it. if we plan it out, cover for a week, pass for a day, ooh wee wee. You can come and be my babe, you can see what a gentleman I am. What if we could plan it out? Party in the streets Like the golden days at the beach Family buzzing in my air like a beat Maybe you could chill All this stuff I have up in my head I just wanna do Maybe if you come then you can hang You can meet the crew We could even chill out at the park Like we did in school Take you back to when you was a kid Everything was cool Hope you never lose track Life's a little hard when you're not home, yeah Yeah, I've been gone and gone But still on my own, yeah I'm a soldier, I fight for what's right So my heart's just been fighting for you What more can I do? I just wanna put you in a box like some Keep you to myself, you know I don't wanna share no options If I finally tell the truth Then I'm telling it to you What if we could plan it out? Cobble for a week Pass for a day, ooh wee wee You can come and be my babe, you can see what a gentleman I am, yeah. What if we could plan it out? Party in the streets, like the golden days at the beach. Family buzzing in my air like a bee. Maybe you could chill. Uh, now that the harness is mostly ran, I want to take a minute to talk about the battery cables. So the battery on this car is in the trunk and we need to get the battery power to the starter and our fuse block. So to do that, you want to run the uh, positive cable through the cab of the car, um, ideally on the inside because then it's just out of the weather and the water. Um, you want to make sure to run that cable away from any sharp edges or anything hot because you really don't want anything happening to this cable. Um, for the negative cable, you just need to hook it up somewhere in the back to a good clean ground. Um, so the cable is ran through the cab and then to get it through the firewall, I just have one of these little firewall pass-through terminals. Um, so that just bolts the firewall and then it's just a really clean, safe way to get the uh, positive cable through the firewall. So on this side, I can make my battery cable um, from there to go to the starter and then I can hook up on the back side of that terminal to my fuse block and then that way everything is getting the battery power it needs, nice and clean, nice and safe. And with that ran, we can now start doing some of the um, end connections on all these wires. So let's start with the front end. Okay, so the wires that pop out at the front, we've got our running lights, uh, left signal, right signal, high beams, and low beams. And then we've got the horn as well. And so this wire here is for our running lights, so that's the guys on the side. 
and this will only power the one side, so we need to splice into it to send the power to the other side so that both running lights are on. We also need to do that with the low beams and the high beams because we need both of them to be on when those wires get power. The only ones we don't do that to is the left and right signals because if you're signaling left, you don't want your right signal to be turning on, so those ones just need to go to their respective sides. Now, we need to make that, but also we need to make a ground harness for the front end. So what I like to do is run just one ground wire the whole length of the front end and then splice little branches off of it to each of the lights so that each light has a little leg off of that common ground wire. And then with that ground wire, um, just ground it in one common spot so that you don't have like a million little grounds going everywhere. You just have one nice ground wire that grounds everything and brings it down into one spot. So we're going to splice into these wires to send power over to this side of the car, make our ground harness, and then put that all together, put some loom over it, and then we're pretty much done in the front. All right, so now that the lights are all hooked up in the front, we just need to get the switches sorted out in the cab. So this is the headlight switch, and its job is just to send power from the battery to the running lights and the low beams. So I know that power comes in here. On the first click, it sends power to this terminal. On the second click, it sends power to this terminal. So I just need to find the appropriate wires in the harness, hook that up to this, and then I'll have my running lights and low beams working in the front. And then this guy, powers the high beams on and off. So I just need to find which two terminals um, connect when the switch is in the one position. And then I can hook up power in and then power out to the high beams. So that's basically what you have to do with just every single switch in the car is just either look up a wiring diagram or just use a meter and just figure out which terminals do which in every position. And then just wire it up how it's going to work for your car. So we're going to start by hooking these guys up and then hopefully we get some lights in the front. All right, moment of truth. Running lights, low beams, high beams. Oh yeah! All right, that's all we're gonna be doing on the car for tonight. This was a really good step towards getting the car all wired up. And so now every night I'm just going to pick one circuit, learn it on a wiring diagram, and then wire it into the car. It's really important to just not get too overwhelmed and just look at it as individual circuits in the car. So just pick one circuit, learn it, wire it, and then after a couple evenings, you'll have the car all wired up and good to go. A few last minute things I will mention is solder as many connections as you possibly can. Soldering is way more reliable than crimping. Anywhere where you do need to crimp, make sure to get some high quality connectors, crimp them nice and clean and tight because you want those to stay on the wires. If you're going through any metal holes, use rubber grommets to protect the wires. Um, and besides that, just use relays on any heavy circuits like cooling fans, fuel pumps, that kind of stuff. Besides that, just stay focused, don't get overwhelmed, and we'll see you next Thursday.